Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 56 of Crusader Kings 2. We are now the Emperor of the Deccan Empire. And the Empire of Ganga. Uh, once again, before we start, thank you very much to my Patreon supporter, Gamer Cowboy, for sponsoring this entire series with his donation. It really is appreciated. Thank you very much. And now we need to try and expand and take the rest of the land that is part of our du jour empire so actually a little bit of this um some of this here is ours so we will have to go to war with this guy uh, this is ours and this is ours we've got a truce with this guy we could attack this guy straight up he's allied with this guy over here who's not a big issue he's got 7k troops compared to our 23 so i think we might have him there uh, it would be nice if we could just get him to straight up except vassalization um same with this guy really um do we have a truce with you yeah we do have a truce with you uh, could we offer you vassalization well we could but he would say no because he absolutely hates us so we're probably not going to be able to change any of that how much do you hate me by yeah quite a bit how much does this guy hate me by also quite a bit because uh, we usurped your title and declared war. So we're probably not going to be able to get that back. We will have to declare war if we want that. Um, so I think we will. Um, we, we can declare war against him. Let's go ahead and move the retinues in next to him. So we can take this out nice and quickly. Um, we will go ahead and make sure we do have... Um, Looks like there was a defensive pact opposing me has has gone away. Um, let's just go ahead and make sure that I'm not leading this charge here, because there's no reason why I should be. Um, so we'll go ahead and put you next door. You are right next door, that is fine. Now, we could well end up with this guy coming in. He probably will do, so that, that's not too much of a problem. Uh, we need a new marshal. Now, you want to be on the council. You want to be on the council as well. You don't have particularly good marshal score. And you've got camp fever. Let's put you let's put you on the council anyway. And let's see if we can't get you um, training troops in the capital. Actually, we don't need to have oh, changed it now anyway. We could have just had him organize the army. We don't really need to train troops, but that's fine. Uh, we are very threatening though. Um, I mean the the problem is really is if we go over fifty percent. We but um, yeah, we need some of this threat to go away. It's gonna take a while. Um, special character actions possible. This is our son. Send him into hiding. I don't think we want to do that. Is somebody actually plotting against him? Not that I can instantly see. I think we're okay. We don't appear to have any sort of disease outbreak. We've got a fair bit of money again. We could go ahead and upgrade some of our holdings. Let's get the stables. The stables are cheap. Do we still have this option to usurp this title? We do. Why Why do we have this option? It's not part of our du jour duchy. We, we own these two. Why can we usurp this? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, we are in the line of succession. But I don't see why I'd want to usurp that. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, vassal levies have been raised far too long. I mean, we could probably do this with our own personal troops. Should we need to? Um, that's fine. Uh, we don't have the karma required to create this kingdom, so we can't do that just yet. Let's go ahead and uh, start this war. It is only for a single province, though. But we've got the du jour claim. So let's go ahead. Let me just double check before we do. Check his pacts. Yeah, he's only got this one uh, alliance over here. All of the rest of them are just non-aggression pacts. So, let's go over here. We declare war. We get the du jour claim. It's not showing that anyone would join on his side, oddly enough. So, let's go ahead and send that declaration before he has a chance to do anything. He's actually trying to march out of there, and he might well succeed. Now, did the other guy come in on your side? Well, he hasn't done yet. That doesn't mean that he won't. Looks like we are going to catch him. So, did you come in or not? No, you didn't. That's actually quite good for us. Uh, our marshal already has disappeared. Um, looks like he's died. That's fine. Well, let's put you on the council then. And this actually works out well for me because I can just have you organizing the army. So that is fine. So, yeah, we're just doing this with the retinues. This will cost us a little bit of money because, of course, we're going to be losing retinues. 
Um, distractions seem to overwhelm you during your studies. The simplest pleasures, even the plain and mundane chores, seem like time better spent drowning in books all evening. How does one manage to keep focus when everything else is so much more appealing? So we've got a 15% chance of us coming diligent, but there's a 30% chance of us becoming stressed. Or we could become slothful. Well, we... Um, yeah, we've got student of learning... Let's 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 take the gamble. We didn't get either of them. We didn't get the stressed either. We got a victory here. Nine percent. Now then, I am seeing some units coming in here. Um he has now joined the war. So he's now coming in to help. This is fine. So what we can do is we can raise our own levies here. Um we should have more than that. So we're just, we're just raising our local levies at this point. Let's get all of you guys up here. We could raise some more troops if we need to, but I don't think it's something that we need to worry too much about. Let's see if we can catch some of these troops out of position. He is sending armies in in little, little bits and pieces. It's not really going to help him too much. Okay, so let's put this group together here. Right, we're leading the centre of this, and I don't particularly want to be doing that. So let's go ahead and do this. So this army's going to march up here and, and meet up with these guys. This army's going to go and... Probably needs a couple of people in there. You can go and do the sieging. Now I'm going to be pausing a little bit here because I do want to sort of make sure that I get these guys in the right positions where possible. That was a really quick kill. Can we get you? Will that dissuade you from going that way? You are quite quick, aren't you? I'll give you that one. Okay, looks like we're going to catch you there. There are some defensive packs forming against us. Um, so who is this? This is my steward. I have a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. Does this guy like me? He does. That's a lot of gold. But let's go ahead and give it a try. See what he does. See how bad this ends up, ends working out for us. So we've got that battle there. Let's head north. We've lost, a, we've lost somebody in here, haven't we? Let's, let's go north and, um... Try and grab another stack or two. We're already at 31% war score. Can we just keep chasing you down? I think we can. Um, lots of bits and pieces. It looks like uh, one of our uh, vassals may well be trying to take that for us, which will be great. So we, we'll go and siege that out. That'll be fine. Where's your army just gone? No, we have just caught it. Yeah, the defensive pact against us is getting larger, so we are going to have to be careful. We might have to take a break from declaring constant wars on people. This is mostly because our threatening status is so high. We're still working on this siege down here. Alright, there's the siege done. We're on 89% now. Let's go ahead and catch another army. No, you've backed off. That's fine. We're seeing a lot of people in this war that I don't think should be in it. He's still the only guy in there. You're actually fighting some of my uh, vassals' armies. You've actually increased somebody's marshal. We're still only at 99%. Uh, can we catch you? Doesn't look like we can. So our son has become a brilliant strategist. We're at 99%. You need to get married. So this is another game of cowboy. You don't like us. It's because you're our rival, but that's fine. Look at the marshal on him. That's fantastic. You're ambitious. You are paranoid, which is not a bad thing. It gives you more intrigue. It reduces your diplomacy. You're shrewd. You're a brilliant strategist, which gives you plus nine marshal. Minus one to your learning, but more health, more combat skill, more stewardship. Let's find you a wife. Um, do we have any geniuses in here. We've got a 16 year old genius with pretty decent um, stats actually. Sure. Let's go ahead and get married to her. We've groomed an heir. 
You accept our decision. Excellent. Uh, the White Tiger again there. It's been a while since we've had that event. Did that get us up to 100 yet? No, it did not. That did, though. So let's go ahead and offer peace. Enforce our demands. There we go. We've got that. So let's get you guys down here. And um, These are the retinues. Let's go ahead and move them over and sit them in this guy's kingdom. So we can pick a new ambition. Let's go ahead and do that. We've either got build... What's the war chest? It's going to be... 10,000. That's quite a lot. What do we get for it? National tax modifier. Do you know what? We could probably hit it. We could probably hit that. Um, we've got unlanded sons. Did I actually just claim this for myself? No, I didn't. Um, I could go ahead and usurp this and give it to, and give it to my son. What would I be usurping? Is it just the yeah? It's the duchy. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it as it is. We will be able to take some more land at some point and we'll be able to give him something. We're, we're always gaining something. So, yeah, the defensive pact is getting larger. You guys can be stood down. What's our threatening status? 24%. We do need to let that decay a little. We need these levy uh, bonuses to go. We did actually raise some of the local ones, which is a bit of a problem. Um, we don't want to lose the karma. We'll keep the karma... We need to create that other kingdom. Speaking of prisoners, though, who do we have? Do we have anyone that we'd like to release that might be worth some money? You're not really worth anything. You really dislike me. Because you're a pretender claimant. You absolutely hate me because I revoked your title. That's fine. Uh, this is our cousin. Looks like you'd benefit from a, a martial education, so let's go ahead and do that. So if I did usurp that title, what would be the point of it? I'd still have to fight him for it. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. Saddle my horse. Uh, someone's trying to have you assassinated. Uh, I write to you with shocking news. I tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to fabricate a claim on a Raj. Expose him immediately, so... Fabricate a claim. The monument is finished. Upon unrevealing, a statue of yourself is revealed and you notice the crowd smiling and giving you a round of applause. We can gain 200 prestige. And his opinion of us changes by 15. Or it's too much, remove it. Um, he'd lose five, but we would gain Humble. Humble would give us monthly karma. I don't think we need the Humble. We'll just take the Prestige. Plus is up to 4k Prestige. It's not a bad thing. So we did spend a fair bit of money. How much money are we making? Almost 400 ducats a year. It'll still take a while to get to 10... Um, was it 1,000 or was it 10... That must have been 10,000. It'll take a while. Is that a year or is that a month? I can never remember. That's got, that's got to be... Um, yeah, yearly total. Yearly total income. So yeah, it will take a while. Uh, during your your hunt, you come across a deep gorge. Right on the other side is the white tiger staring at you. Now I know my purpose in life. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Gives us the hunter. So now we get plus two marshal, one diplomacy, 20 pursuit. So our marshal's a bit better now. That should increase our force limit. Can we get more written news? I know we already did this um, in a previous video, but we might be able to cram some more in. We actually could. We do have more space. Um, we don't have enough for the for the war elephants there. I'm not a big fan of light infantry. We could go ahead and get some heavy infantry and some, some archers. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's move you guys up here and put you all together. So we're really going to be stacking up the uh, retinues here. Various different different alliances and things forming. That is fine. So threatening's at 22%. It will decay down. We don't have to worry too much about that. Um, my marshal tells me that one of my commanders has improved significantly. Excellent. Uh, we can arrest 
you, this is our daughter-in-law. We only just got you married. What what are you doing? Why can we... Uh... She's currently considering another offer from us. She must be plotting and we've asked her to stop plotting. That's usually what that is. Yeah, she's actually plotting to kill my uncle. Which is probably fine. But it looks like she's going to stop anyway. Um, your hunting dog needs proper training. Yep, yeah, we'll train him personally. We don't need the 20 prestige, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can usurp this title again. We really don't need to. Not too sure why you keep giving me that option. I mean, we could do it so that we could um, hand it over to our son. But there really isn't a lot of point. So, who are you actually at war with? You are at war with... This guy. Okay. Now, yeah, I guess that is all one kingdom. So that would make sense. Oh, we've done it. It was only a thousand. I thought it was ten thousand. That was easier than I was expecting. Um, so yeah, that is all part of one kingdom. But it is a different duchy. That's fine. I don't mind that too much. Uh, we still need to form this kingdom. We do own that kingdom. Well, we don't own it, but you you are the king, aren't you? At least you should be. Yep, you're, you're the king, so you're fighting for that kingdom. That is fine. Pick an ambition. Okay, I guess see the realm prosper. That's the only option that we've got right now anyway. Um, how much karma do we need? 200 karma. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we keep building up our... Well, we've done as much as we can here. This still needs a fair bit uh, doing. Let's go ahead and get the stables. The stables are cheap. I say we, all, we always work on the main duchy first. Let's go ahead, ahead and get some of the cheaper options. Because some of them are further behind than the others. So, yeah, let's go and upgrade the stables. That's quite cheap. Um, this is ours as well. This one's quite far behind. Uh, get the stables, because the stables are cheap. And then these two are ours also. So, let's leave those ones for now. Let's look at this one here. We've got two forts there, actually. Um, could get a shipyard. We don't really need boats right now. Let's look at the other one. Um, again, we could get a shipyard. Stables, barracks. I think we'll leave these ones for the time being. We are doing quite well. We've got a decent number of men coming through anyway, so I think that's fine. So what we're really doing is just waiting for some of this threat to go away. Uh, hopefully we can gain another... Uh, that's a lot of weak claims. Hopefully we can go uh, get, gain another county at some point that we can give to our son. Going through the treasury to account for today's earnings, it seems to me that the coffers seem to contain less than we started out with. Either someone is stealing my gold or I must be going mad. Don't really want to become paranoid. So we'll, we'll take the loss of the money and we'll just keep our eye on it. I'm surprised you're not winning this war. Um, we gain the train... Gain the trait diligent. Excellent. That really bumps our score up now. Right. Can we actually help you with this war? We probably can't because I think we have a truce. Um, we can demand Gavelkind. Demand that he institute Gavelkind succession law. He might refuse or ask for something in return. Um... Yeah, we can't join his war with the look of things. You really should be able to, to win this up here. Hopefully you can. Uh, we need to make some... Um, well, we don't need to make claims, actually. We can just go ahead and start taking this stuff. Part of this is part of the du jour kingdom. So we've got, this is a, we, right, are you a king? No. 
So this is another kingdom that is within our lands, but we we can't usurp this one apparently. We don't have quite enough of it. This is the the kingdom of Andra. Um, is that within our du jour? Yes, it is. It's within the empire. Um, du jour kingdom of Andra. We only control 50% of it, so we'd need one more. So if we could take this, then we could usurp the title and create another kingdom. So we probably need to do that. So if we go straight to your liege. Now you've got three and a half thousand troops. You are allied with this guy. Who is this guy? You're up there. Is that all you have? Just that little bit there? That's nothing really. So remind me again, you have got what now? Three and a half thousand troops, so basically you've got nothing. If we go ahead and declare a war, we don't have a truce. Um, and we can actually just claim the entire kingdom, because it is part of the... Uh, yeah, that's a single province. We could just go ahead and claim all of that in one foul swoop, which we should do. Um, could we not offer you vassalage? No, because we're not you, your uh, liege. So that's unfortunate. What about you? Are you willing to accept vassalage at the moment? No, because you're not at peace. Okay. So this is probably what we should do, is declare war for that. It'll make us threatening again. Um, is this part of Ardijur Duchy? No, it isn't. Uh, not Ardijur Duchy, Ardijur... Um, our thingy, our what's it? Our uh, empire, there we go. It'll get there in the end. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll go for that, but we'll do that on the next video because we've already gone over the 20-minute mark. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Crusader Kings 2. Once again, a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, Gamer Cowboy, for sponsoring this entire series. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.